Gerald Kaufman. I led a delegation of parliamentarians, 60 parliamentarians from 13 European parliaments to Gaza. I could no longer do that today because Gaza is practically inaccessible. The Israelis try to lay the responsibility on the Egyptians, but while the Egyptians' closing of the tunnels has uh, caused great hardship, it is the Israelis that have imposed the blockade, it is the Israelis who are the occupying power. And the culpability of the Israelis was demonstrated in the report to the UN by Philip Goldstone after Operation Cast Lead. And he was harassed by Jewish organizations after he had made that report. And when I had a meeting with him in New York, at the end of the meeting, his wife said to me, it's good to meet another self-hating Jew. Because again and again and again, Israel seeks to justify the vile injustices that it imposes on the people of Gaza and of the West Bank on the grounds of the Holocaust. Last week we commemorated the Holocaust. 1.7 million Palestinians in Gaza are being penalized with this justification and it's unacceptable. The statistics are appalling. Fresh water for a few hours every five days. Fishing boats not allowed to go out, and in any case, what's the point of their going out? Because the waters are so, are, are, are so filthy that no fish they catch could be eaten. The Israelis are victimizing above all the children. Half the population is uh, under age, un under voting age in this country, and those children the lack of nutrition, what is being done to them physically is not only damaging their bodies and their brains, but will go on generation after generation. It is totally unacceptable that the Israelis should behave like this, but they don't care. You go to Tel Aviv, as I did not long ago, and watch them sitting complacently on their pavement ca cafes. They don't give a damn about their fellow human beings maybe half an hour away. The honourable gentleman quoted the Prime Minister as saying it's a prison camp. The Prime, it's all very well for the Prime Minister to say that, as he did in Turkey when he visits a, con a, a Muslim country. But what's he doing about it? Nothing, nothing, nothing. The time has long passed when we can make con condemnations and think that's enough. The Israelis don't care about condemnation. They're self-righteous and complacent. And what we need to do now is to take action against them. We need to impose sanctions. If uh, uh, the spineless Obama won't do it, we need to do it even unilateral, unilaterally. We need to press it in the European community for this to be done. These people cannot be persuaded. You cannot appeal to their better nature when they don't have a better nature. And it's all very well saying, wicked, wicked, wicked Hamas. Hamas are dreadful. I met them. But nothing Hamas has done justifies the punishment of children, women, the sick in the way that the Israelis uh, are doing now. They've got to be stopped. As has been pointed out, there's a time limit on this. The idea that you can go on and wait for a two-state solution, and if you don't get one, you can travel along, that's gone, Mr. Hood. Sooner or later, the Palestinians will say, we're dying anyhow, so let's die for something. Let's stop that. I don't want a war. I don't want violent action. But, uh, but Mr. Hood, 
the action as the, the international community takes has got to be imposed because otherwise hell will break loose. Jim,